The surface seal coating system was developed by PPG Industries to enhance pilot vision during rain conditions. The system features a durable, transparent, water repellent coating which promotes efficient rain removal from aircraft windshields. Before you begin the application process, make sure that you have easy access to the aircraft windshield. You'll have at least 10 hours available in a hangar or outside in good weather. Lighting conditions allow you to accurately inspect your work as you progress through the process. The temperature is between 40 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The humidity is in the 30 to 70 percent range and that the orbital sander is fully charged before you begin. All of the materials you'll need for the application process are contained in the master kit with the exception of an approved glass cleaner. Read all of the health and safety information provided on the material safety data sheets packaged with each kit. Be sure to wear the disposable gloves included in the kit during each of the chemical applications and cleanup steps. It's also a good idea to wear safety glasses during the entire application procedure, even though they aren't included in the master kit. The first step in the surface seal application process is to thoroughly wash the windshield with an approved glass cleaner and wipe it dry with soft paper towels or K-Dry wipers. Next, using the quarter inch tape from the master kit, mask the glass periphery of the windshield up to the moisture seal. Take your time and do this right. Be sure that you get the tape right up to the moisture seal. Next, take the two inch tape from the master kit and apply it to the windshield periphery. Overlap the quarter inch tape spanning the moisture seal and press it down onto the windshield retainer or aircraft structure. Be sure that the masking tape is completely pressed down into place to prevent any chemicals from wicking into the aircraft structure. Next, Remove the 500 milliliter bottle of polishing slurry from the master kit. Now, remove the felt pad from the plastic bag inside the box labeled Kit A in the master kit and attach it to the fully charged orbital sander. Remember, the PPG supplied sander is the only one approved for this process. Make no substitutions. Shake the polishing slurry and apply about 10 to 20 milliliters of the liquid to the felt pad. Then lightly set the sander onto the windshield and turn it on. The weight of the sander on the felt pad will provide sufficient polishing force on the surface of the glass. Use overlapping strokes and cover the entire surface of the glass evenly. Be sure to add additional slurry to keep the felt pad moistened throughout the process. Now remove a 500 milliliter bottle of deionized water from the master kit and several disposable towels. Wash and dry the windshield thoroughly to remove all traces of the polishing slurry and continue wiping the windshield until the glass is completely dry. You'll need to start the next step of the application process within five minutes to prevent possible dust contamination of the glass surface. The next step in this process is the application of the surface prep chemical. This material is corrosive to the aircraft structure and may damage the paint. Before proceeding, make sure the tape masking is completely pressed down to prevent chemicals from wicking into the structure. Next, remove one surface prep ampule and two applicators from kit A in the master kit and cut off the corner of the plastic tubing at the top of the ampule. Do not cut the foam filter. Then break the ampule seal by bending it above the cylindrical reservoir. 
hold the ampule away from the aircraft, and pour the fluid onto one of the applicator pads. Now, apply the surface prep to the windshield using slightly overlapping strokes. Work at a moderate speed. Do not allow thick films of liquid to accumulate on the windshield. Apply additional surface prep to the applicator as needed to completely cover the windshield. After the entire windshield has been covered, repeat the application process using a new applicator. Now, using the scissors, open the coating solution by cutting off the top corner of the ampule. Hold the ampule away from the aircraft, break it, and pour some solution onto the applicator. Begin in the critical vision areas and work toward the outer edges of the windshield using quick circular motions. Add more solution to the applicator as it becomes dry and continue the application process until the ampule is empty. A haze will form over the entire glass surface. Immediately following the application of the coating solution, spread a fresh disposable towel on the coated glass and spray deionized water onto it until it is thoroughly wet. The towel should adhere to the glass surface. Continue to spread clean towels and wet them overlapping them as necessary to cover the entire windshield. Pat the towels down and push the air pockets out from between the towels and the glass surface. Next, leave the wet towels on the glass for five minutes and then remove them. The next step in the application process enhances the durability of the coating. Carefully place a sheet of protective film over the windshield. Be sure to line up all the edges. Then tape the film to the windshield retainer or aircraft structure at each corner of the film with short strips of quarter inch tape. Next, apply the heat blanket to the surface of the windshield and anchor it securely in place using two inch tape. Then plug the blanket into the 220-240 volt power source. The temperature of each heat blanket has been preset for an eight hour heat curing period. Do not substitute one heat blanket for another. After eight hours, unplug the blanket and allow it to cool down for five or 10 minutes to room temperature. Then remove the hold down tape, the heat blanket and protective film as well as the two inch and quarter inch layers of masking tape. Next, remove several disposable towels and the cleaning solvent from the master kit and remove all of the visible haze from the aircraft windshield and any residue from the tape. Make one pass with a wet towel and one with a dry one. After all of the haze has been removed, wash the windshield with deionized water and dry it with disposable towels. Once you have completed the coating application process, be sure to tag the windshield with the appropriate identification label.